Hi, my name is Dr. Manika Diana Brooks. I'm an assistant professor of reading education at Texas State University. I'm excited to share with you my article in the Journal of Literacy Research. The article is entitled Other, Multiraciality, Community, and Cross-Racial Research. Through engaging in what Bazille terms critical autobiographical reflection, I examine my experiences as a Black and Tamil American woman who engages in language and literacy research with Latinx adolescents. Specifically, I focus on how my background as a multiracial woman whose research entails working with adolescents with whom I do not share many social identities has colored my journey as a researcher. In this paper, I describe my encounters with two types of research policing. Research policing occurred when fellow academics attempted to shape the nature of my research so that it had what they considered to be a connection to my racial identity or questioned what they saw to be a lack of connection. The racialized nature of research policing was made explicit through situations in which I was asked about making my research more appropriate to my community when white graduate students and professors who engaged in cross-racial research were not. These moments of research policing could have derailed my pursuit of research for educational equity as it relates to bilingualism, literacy, and Latinx adolescents. However, in this article, I discuss how my life history as a multiracial woman was one of the pillars of strength that allowed me to develop and sustain an alternative conception of community in which I situate my equity-focused research. However, in discussing how I envision my community as incorporating people of various social identities, I wanted to make sure that I did not advocate for the erasure of lived differences between the Latinx students with whom I work and myself. Therefore, I bring the article to a close by discussing how it was not differences in ethno-racial identities that had the potential to be the biggest barrier in my dissertation research. Instead, it was the differences in our racialized experiences of formal schooling. Through this critical autobiographical reflection, I present a diverse representation of what it means to be a woman of color educational researcher and document how I enact what Paris and Wynne describe as humanizing research.